What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna teach you how to do the blind judge behind the boat. The tricks you're gonna to wanna to already know how to do before attempting this trick are basically just a Rayleigh and a backside 180. I do suggest learning this backside 180 into the flats. If you can do that consistently landing bolts almost every time, I do feel that this trick will be very easy for you. I do feel that not many of you are gonna actually want to learn this trick and may think that this trick is very scary. And I will say, yes, the trick is very scary to attempt for the first time, but it is actually not that hard of a trick to do. So if you can get the ball to attempt it, I think it won't be impossible to do. The edge you're gonna wanna take for this trick, I will say is a pretty solidly hard edge, like a very hard edge, because I do feel that the further you land past the trough, the easier the landing is gonna be, because if you only do like a half send and land heavily on the trough, the landing will be a lot heavier. So uh, yeah, take it pretty hard, send it far in the flats, and I think it'll make it a bit easier. Setting up for this trick, make sure you get nice and wide, probably as far away from the wakes as possible. Pause for a second and get on a nice progressive edge in towards the wakes and then you're gonna wanna lay back and get on that heavy edge, edge all the way into the wake super hard just like you would on the normal Rayleigh and make sure you edge all the way up through the very top of the wake. Now that you've edged all the way through the very top of the wake, as you're going up the wake, you're gonna to wanna to do sort of that same exact sort of scooping motion you would do on your normal Rayleigh, letting those feet drift out behind you. And now you're in the air for a large amount of time, just like your normal Rayleigh. You can spot the landing the entire time. And it's not until you're on your way down from this trick, you're actually going to initiate the backside 180. Now that we're on our way down from the Rayleigh, rather than just pulling this handle down towards your front hips to get that board back underneath you, you're sort of going to do the same motion, but at the same time, start ripping this handle over towards your lower back, drop that rear hand and continue ripping it there as hard as you can. Make sure you do the backside 180 pretty late and you'll be able to spot the landing right here bend your knees on impact and the impact might be pretty heavy. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have that chest over your toes so you don't slip out on your butt and really just try and land bolts, bend your knees on impact and just right away, switch toe side. The most common problem I see when people attempt this trick is they actually pull the trick to blind too early, which is completely understandable because you probably don't really want to die. But whenever you do do this, you end up slipping out on your butt. To fix this problem, you really just need to have a little bit of faith in your blind landings and uh, wait a little bit longer. Make sure you get that chest over your toes so you don't slip back on your butt. But uh, yeah, a solid amount of balls to help yourself wait a little bit longer would be pretty helpful. And and uh, yeah, that's kind of what will fix the problem. I'm gonna give you a quick little summary of how to do the blind judge. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're nice and wide, pretty far, probably as far as you can away from the wakes. Get on a solid progressive edge into a hard edge in towards the wakes like you're gonna take a really big Rayleigh off the wake. Take that little scoop off the wake like you would do on your normal Rayleigh. Now you're in the air, your feet have drifted out behind you, you can spot the water down below you the whole time. You can pretty much see your landing the entire time. So on your way down from this Rayleigh, that's when you're gonna to wanna to take this handle and rip it over to your lower back. And as you've done that backside 180, you're gonna to wanna to spot your landing down below. Make sure you get your chest over your toes, bend your knees on impact and just ride away. That's how you do the blind judge. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future, maybe what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn next. Remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever, so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time, peace.